Well, one more time, we are going to try and upgrade our Dell Inspiron 2200M laptop computer. If you remember from the previous video, we started with a Pentium M 1.4 gigahertz. We then upgraded it to a Pentium M 1.8 gigahertz on that video. And I've recently come across in my scrapyard finds a Pentium M 2.26 gigahertz. Now, will this chip work in this laptop? I don't know. There's a huge difference in the memory and bus speed, but it's the same pinout, and I thought, why not give it a try? Uh, it wasn't difficult upgrading the other one, and we'll go ahead and give it a shot, see if we get any performance change, and it'll just be something fun to do. So, I've already unclipped this panel here and what I need to do is just pop it off like such and that just comes out it's got the power button there <coughs> pardon my sniff and the keyboard just comes out and lays down now I don't need to actually take the keyboard out of its ribbon cable holder because what I need to do now is just get this heat shield off over the CPU and the heat sink. I'm just going to set these screws aside on my coffee cup warmer tray. I have to give Dell props. Some computers are harder to get into for accessing the CPU. And I know this is an older model and an older style, but it's not the worst thing to get into. And we'll set all that aside for now. All right. <clears throat> so, we will undo these connectors. Hopefully everything fits. That would be nice for a Thursday. And this should just fit in there. Unless I have a bent pin that I cannot account for. Nope, I have an extra pin. So this CPU is not compatible. Well, as far as fail videos go, I guess it's good to have one every now and then. I'll try and show you the difference here. And this, this is the new CPU that I was going to use. And if you, you can see right here, it's missing two pins right on the corner. And the one that it was going to replace is actually missing an additional pin just to the upper right of that pin area. So the CPU I was going to use has an extra pin. 
I cannot use it. It's just an example of it was just something I didn't note. But I'll go ahead and uh, put it back together, make sure it runs, and I'll post this. It's, is, is it a fail video? Eh, maybe. I mean, I didn't break anything, thank goodness. I didn't force it in the socket. Lesson learned. I mean, I got this for like a buck at the scrapyard. It would have been nice, but <clears throat> with the difference in the bus speed, uh, there is a difference in the socket itself also. So, well, there you go. No free lunch. Shame, but that happens. So I will put the 1.8 back. And I will get everything re-secured. I mean, it's still a 1.8 gigahertz Pentium 4 mobile laptop. Um, and I'm rather fond of the little guy. I think down the road, whoops. I think down the road it, uh, you know, it might be a... Uh, you know, it might be quite a capable Windows XP laptop with a gig and a half of RAM. And based on the current configuration, that's the most I can get in here. And it's got a 40 gig hard drive, you know, running at 1.8. It's got the integrated graphics, which aren't the best, but again, functional. So I'll get these screwed in. I will cross them so everything hopefully is nice and flat and snug and everything's on there. Get the heat sink back on. Get this shield on. And this is a little teeny. This guy here is a tiny little grounding wire. Probably for static discharge. And you never want to wind up with extra screws. Never want to wind up with too much hardware. I'm a little disappointed. I was genuinely hoping that I was going to be able to upgrade this thing. It would have been fun having a 2.2 a .2 gigahertz chip on it. And I think that would have been about the maximum I would have expected this system to ever take. But, you know, it's possible that there's a 2 gig chip out there that this computer could take, but I don't have it, I don't have access to it. You know, I'll keep checking the scrap yard. It's been pretty, pretty quiet as far as laptops coming in. All right. And uh, laptop parts. We'll put the battery back in. And we'll boot it up and make sure that everything's working. And Inspiron, start windows normally. I think I accidentally shut it down when I was booting it last time, but everything appears to be good. Well, sorry that it wasn't all that exciting. I appreciate everyone sticking with me for a few minutes. I go ahead and put this up. Um, any thoughts or comments? Has anyone upgraded one of these before? Any thoughts about... Uh, the maximum chip that could go in here. Again, there's probably, there's probably a two gig chip that would go in here. So I'll have to see if I can find that. And I've got low battery. This battery does not hold a charge very long, but I mean, 
you know, for a 2000 era computer, it's doing pretty well. So thanks again, folks.